This is your 28storms.com tropical weather update for Thursday, October 20th. There are currently two areas to monitor. One is located in the central Atlantic. This is a weak surface low that is trying to develop, although I really don't think it has much of a chance to become a tropical cyclone. We have a very strong upper level low located to the northeast of Puerto Rico. And just to the south and east of that upper level low, we have quite a lot of southwest wind shear, so conditions do not appear to be favorable in that area. However, another interesting feature that we will be monitoring over the coming days is this broad area of low pressure that is located along the tail end of the frontal boundary. You can see it even better on the visible. This is the frontal boundary that caused a lot of significant weather across Florida over the last 48 hours. It is now stalled out between Honduras and Jamaica. And being that this is mid-October, this is generally the type of setup that you would look for with regard to any potential Western Caribbean development. The low-level vorticity chart already shows this area of low pressure quite well, located just to the east of Honduras and Nicaragua. And as noted before, the upper-level winds are not all that terrible. In fact, we only have some slight southeasterly wind shear. We have a mid to upper-level ridge located over the Bahamas, and we also have the trough still over much of the southeast Gulf of Mexico. So therefore, the mid to upper-level winds over the western Caribbean are generally out of the south. But as you can see here, the wind shear values are not that bad. It's still generally less than 15 to 20 knots. And if the wind shear values do relax anymore, then the chances of development could become a little higher. As of right now, the Hurricane Center is giving this area about a 20% chance of tropical cyclone development within the next 48 hours. This is a look at the UK Met model forecast for the next five days. The UK Met is not quite as accurate as the GFS and ECMWF models. However, we do still use it from time to time. And this just shows some of the potential that we may have in the Western Caribbean, and therefore we have good reason to monitor this area of low pressure. This is the forecast for Saturday morning. We see the broad low beginning to deepen just a little bit more here to the east of Nicaragua. And as we go into Sunday and Monday, we more than likely have a tropical cyclone sitting just to the west of Jamaica. And as we go into Tuesday, we definitely have a strengthening tropical system just to the south of Cuba. In addition, while the CMC model is usually far too aggressive with developing tropical cyclones, the CMC has been consistently developing a tropical cyclone in the Western Caribbean for the past several model cycles. This is now the most recent 12Z run of the CMC, and sure enough, it's sticking to its guns with the idea that we will have a tropical system lifting northward toward Western Cuba as we go into day five and day six. So this is in very similar agreement to the UK Met model forecast. The latest 12Z run of the GFS model is not nearly as aggressive as the CMC and UK Met. However, you can also quite clearly see that it does have a broad area of low pressure that does try to intensify, and it takes it on off toward the west-northwest into Central America by day 7. And last but not least, this is the 12Z run of the ECMWF model. The good news is that the European is not on board with the idea of development just yet. In fact, it keeps much of the Atlantic Basin quiet throughout the next 7 to 10 days. And really quickly, this is a look at the far eastern Pacific. We don't see any organized tropical disturbances. In fact, the entire eastern Pacific is quiet this afternoon. So the only real feature to keep an eye on is what's occurring out there in the western Caribbean. All we have right now is a very weak surface low, and many of the reliable models are not showing any significant development. Most notably, the ECMWF is not showing much of anything down there. So it's really hard to get too aggressive with the idea that anything will develop. However, it certainly bears watching considering that the upper level conditions are marginally favorable and we already have a weak low pressure down there. So please stick with 28storms.com. We will have more updates throughout the remainder of the week and into the weekend.